we know that um, men in the poorest part of Baltimore uh, have a life expectancy about the Indian average, mm -hmm. despite having many times the income. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean by it's not just what you have, it's what you can do with what you have. And there's a related point, which is when we think about health of the poor, we think about health, as I call it, inequalities or inequities. Mm -hmm. In the US, you're more likely to say disparities, um, but let's call it what it is. Mm -hmm. It's inequality and inequity. It's the unfair distribution of health. Commonly, we think about poor health for the poor. Now, think about attitudes to poverty. If you're of a particular political persuasion, you may think the poor are architects of their own misfortune. Mm -hmm. They're poor because of their own poor volition and poor choices, and so they've got no one to blame but themselves. If you're of a different political persuasion, you may think that poverty in a rich society is a stain on that rich society, mm -hmm. and so we should do something about it. But either way, you think, it's not me. Mm -hmm. I'm not poor. I may not be rich, but I'm not poor. So does any of this apply to me? Mm -hmm. and my answer is, yeah, you and I are right in the middle of all this. Because what the evidence shows in the US, the UK, and in a whole slew of other countries where we have data, is there's a social gradient in health. And by that I mean, if we classify people by education, or income, or socioeconomic level of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. What we find is people at the top of the hierarchy have the best health. People a little bit below them have good health, but not quite as good as mm -hmm. the people at the top. And it runs all the way from top to bottom. So the poor are the end of the spectrum. But people who we don't normally think of as poor, but are lower down, actually have worse health than they might otherwise if we could have a shallower social gradient. And that idea that the average is involved, the person who says, thank goodness it's not me, mm -hmm. I'm not poor, that person is actually affected, is by, actually affected yeah. by it. So instead of thinking about the poor, let's think about the rich. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean sending the social workers around to find out if they're okay with all that money. Let's think about the rich. What we want is everybody to have the good health of people at the top. I calculated in Britain that for the average person, they have eight fewer years of healthy life compared with people at the top. And healthy life means later onset of declining grip strength, of difficulty walking, of declining cognitive function, and shorter life. That translates into something like 202,000 extra deaths each year mm -hmm. compared with the top 10%. Now, translating that into the US, if the figures were the same, they're probably bigger in the US, mm -hmm. but if the same, multiply that by five, that's a million extra deaths each year attributable to not having the socioeconomic level of the top 10%. That's enormous, yeah. which means the gradient suggests we should be focusing not only on the poor, but on improving society. Mm -hmm.